Hey, it's Vince, and this is a mid-season bonus episode revealing the 2018 Butter Sculpture. I'll tell you what it is in just a moment, but please do subscribe to this podcast on all major platforms and give us a five-star rating if you feel so inclined. And uh, yeah, if you do that, you'll get all the future and back episodes. Like, this is really good stuff, and it's fun. It's been a lot of fun putting this together, and I hope you enjoy it, too. Uh, and thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Tell anybody out. I'm got to Oh, I don't, I don't know anything. Oh, this is so cool. I'm an expressive, you know, That's Mediterranean good. inside. This is... People are gonna, f oh my gosh, this is so cool. That's the first time you've done this. It is, yeah. Thanks for listening to this bonus episode of A Fair to Remember, where we're discovering the people and stories behind the statewide tradition. So now it's time to discover what the butter sculpture is, the theme for 2018. With the big reveal, Jenny Hubble with the American Dairy Association Mideast. So this year's sculpture celebrates the 35th anniversary of a holiday favorite movie. A Christmas Story. And it was filmed in Ohio, so we felt that it was a great way to pay tribute to such an iconic movie. So what is all in, in the cooler? What do we all, what, what's, just describe to me the setting you got. Of course, you, you know, without a doubt, you got the leg lamp, and, and so just talk about right. that, kind of go from there. So we have depicted some of our favorite scenes from that movie, and yes, we have the infamous leg lamp in there. Um, you see uh, Randy in his snowsuit where he can't put his arms down. You've got Ralphie, of course, in his bunny suit uh, that Aunt Clara gave him. Um, we have a Christmas tree. Um, it is Christmas in there, you know. Uh, we have a Christmas tree with real lights this year, which is really fun. And then we have uh, the scene with Flick where he was triple dog dare to stick his tongue, you know, on that flagpole. And alongside him, the calf joined in the dare. So she has been incorporated into the scene this year. Um, and then the traditional cow, of course, is in the, the display as well. Faithfully reproduced the leg lamp. I forget what they call it in the movie. Major prize. Major, it's a award. major, major award. award. Major award. We picked what we thought were the seven best uh, items to, to portray, and that's that's how we whittled it down. Because you have lights in a Christmas tree, and that's the first time it's ever happened in the history of the butter cow, uh, the butter sculpture. So was that was that hard to put the lights in the tree? No, it's just kind of uh, we thought about it and and how could we do it and. Um, I've got each little individual light inside of a, a clear cellophane uh, wrapper. So we, we wrapped each light and pushed it through from the back so you won't see any wires. And then uh, we kind of just um, moved the lights till they, we thought they looked good and, and uh, they're battery operated so there's no wires running anywhere on the floor. So that's the voice of Paul Brook. He's one of the main sculptors for the butter sculpture every year at the Ohio State Fair. And here is Alex Balls. He's also worked on the sculpture as well, and he's got a few comments about it. I'd say it was a, actually a little bit easier this year. There's the kids are smaller in stature than some of the other sculptures we've done in previous years. So it was less of a, uh, there's less worry that uh, something is going to fail. Uh, the armatures are are easier to uh, to build and you trust them more when they're when you have a, a lighter load. In the previous episode of Affair to Remember, we talked about the creation of the butter sculpture in general and how it is a science and how it's kind of difficult. So what was the most challenging part about creating this butter tribute to a Christmas story? I think uh, I built a table to hold the lamp up and um, uh, just covering that whole table with butter and getting it to look like uh, it was made of butter. So I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is straight lines are the hardest thing to, to do when you're sculpting butter. Smooth straight lines are just not easy to pull off. For me, um, I was uh, concerned about um, the likenesses of the of the uh, the uh, actors. I I, I worried. I, w I want people to immediately understand what the theme is quickly. Um, and not have to sit there and figure it out. So I, I've stressed a little bit about uh, getting that recognition, um, but I, I think I think it's going to work out. What is it? I can't put my arms out. <laughs> if you'll recall from the previous episode, the butter making the sculptures is unsalted and past the expiration date, so it's not like they're using perfectly good butter for this. But what happens to that 2,000 pounds of butter when the fair ends? 
Well, there's actually a chance you might be wearing it. We dismantle the display. Um, we do that by, uh, we've done, oh gosh, there's no um, magic formula. Some years we've turned off the cooler to let the butter soften, to remove it from the um, armatures. Uh, other years we've just scraped it off of the armatures. Um, but then we put it, the butter into tubs that then go to a place that recycles uh, like vegetable oils. Um, that is used in cooking, like for fast food, like a lot of the stands around here, and they refine it uh, down into a product that they can then use in fuel, cosmetics, animal feeds, uh, things of that nature. Before we wrap up this bonus episode, I've got one final all-important question for the sculptors. So after after you sculpt the butter cow and calf, after you do the butter sculpture, do you have less of a desire to put butter on your toast in the morning? No, yeah. I, I actually eat butter all, all the whole time we're in here. I take bites of it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was gonna say. No. Hang on a second. No. Yeah. I, so if one year I walk in and I see the cow has got a bite out of it, <laughs> I know what's going down. I use butter uh, liberally, but no, I don't have a problem with with that. Does it for you? No, surprisingly not. You, you're definitely sick of it when you're up here, but the next morning uh, it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to keep me from from uh, making things taste better. So on the next episode here on A Fair to Remember, we're going to be talking with the entertainers at the fair. It's in two parts because there's a lot of great content here, and we're going to learn what the secret is to fire eating, how a family got their name from the Queen of England, there's this, this like daredevil family, they're pretty wild, and also hear from a man who started juggling on the streets of San Francisco. Yeah, it is a great story. And how he went from San Francisco to Vegas. It's nuts. So that's next here on A Fair to Remember.